The brain is a wonderful organ. It starts working the moment you get up in the morning, and does not stop until you get into the office. Microsoft Japan ran a trial of a four-day work week in the summer of 2019, giving all of its 2,300 workers Fridays off, without loss of pay. Not only were the workers happier, but also more productive. 40% more productive, in fact. They also took 25% less time off, electricity use went down by 23%, 59% less pages of paper were printed, and 92% of employees said they enjoyed the shorter work week. New Zealand's trust management company Perpetual Guardian trialled a four-day work week over two months in 2018 for its 240 employees without loss of pay. After the trial, 78% of workers said they could successfully manage their work-life balance, an increase of 24 percentage points. Stress levels decreased by 7%, work performance was maintained, and overall life satisfaction increased by 5%. Employees were involved in the planning of the trial, with the University of Auckland academic Helen and Delaney stating, "...employees designed a number of innovations and initiatives to work in a more productive and efficient manner, from automating manual processes to reducing or eliminating non-work-related internet usage." There are reports coming out of Europe that the Finnish government are planning to implement a four-day working week, with only six-hour days. Finland's Prime Minister Sanna Marin stated, "...I believe people deserve to spend more time with their families, loved ones, hobbies and other aspects of life, such as culture. This could be the next step for us in working life. A four-day work week, a six-hour work day. Why couldn't it be the next step? Is eight hours really the ultimate truth?" However, conflicting articles are also coming out that say that Finland have no plans of implementing such a scheme. This seems to be corroborated on the Finnish government's Twitter feed, and as we all know, Twitter is the most reliable source of factual information. It states, "...in the Finnish government's program there is no mention about four-day week. Issue is not on the Finnish government's agenda." PM Marin Sanna envisioned idea briefly in a panel discussion last August while she was the Minister of Transport, and there hasn't been any recent activity. Okay, so maybe it is a myth, but it does say one thing. People are enthusiastic about the prospect of a four-day work week. Australian digital advertising agency Versa have actually implemented a four-day work week, which they have been trialling over the last 18 months. However, they've done things a little bit differently. Instead of taking Fridays off, which is what most people think of when they think of a four-day work week, employees instead take Wednesdays off. No meetings, no deliveries, no pitches to clients, and no expectation of checking emails. This breaks the week up into two mini-weeks, and the results have been astounding. In her own words, CEO Catherine Blackham stated, "...we are three times more profitable than we were last year. We have grown by 30 or 40 percent in the last year in terms of revenue, and we have got happier staff who are much more productive." So all of the factors that you would have thought would have gone down because we're working 20 percent less, in theory we're working one day less, although we are doing longer days on the other days, actually we've seen them increase dramatically. Managing Director Johnny Clough was a bit hesitant at first, thinking that a four-day work week would never work. However, he was pleasantly surprised by the results. He said, "...logically, you would consider a four-day working week to end on Thursday, creating a long weekend each week. However, creating two short weeks means staff treat Friday as a proper working day, and schedule medical appointments and similar events on the Wednesday. I'm very used to, as an Englishman, going in with the doom and gloom you have on Monday, and sewer Suicide Tuesday. All that kind of stuff just goes away. Of course, there are naysayers, especially in Australia. Damaging for jobs. Australian businesses say the four-day work week won't work. Why a four-day work week is not good for your health. It's very hard for companies to try new things, especially things that they think might result in loss of revenue, so the typical response is to dismiss any new ideas that involve employees working less. In the run-up to the UK general election in December 2019, Labor's Jeremy Corbyn proposed a four-day work week. The audience members openly laughed at him, and we all know the eventual result — Labor's worst defeat in post-war Britain. But we have to remember that it wasn't that long ago that we thought that it was okay to force children as young as six to work in the coal mines. 
I'm sure there were many people at the time that saw it as immoral and tried to fix the situation, but mostly their pleas were dismissed as being bad for the economy. It wasn't until America implemented the Fair Labor Standards Act of 1938, when oppressive child labor was outlawed. That's less than 100 years ago. Anyway, I certainly have hopes for the four-day workweek. I think ultimately we have to go that way as there won't be enough jobs to go around. There are too many people underemployed who need more work, but on the flip side, there are too many full-time workers who are overworked and want to work less. I think a four-day work week is a step in the right direction. But when will Australia get on board? Perhaps when the International Cricket Council decide that test matches should only be four days long, then maybe, just maybe, we'll be ready for a four-day work week. Mm -hmm.